welcome to RK Medicos. In this section, we are going to discuss about the clinical enzymology part two. In uh, in previous one, we already discussed about the isoenzymes that is like the alkaline phosphatase. We discussed creatinine kinase and lactate dehydrogenase. Now we are going to see application of these all enzymes. How if the person is having heart is damaged? Suppose that the cardiac biomarkers we are going to discuss here. It means the person is having what happened when the heart is having affected in the any person. Then what enzymes or what isoenzymes is going to rise in our blood? And which one is a specific? Which one is least specific? We are going to discuss here. What happened after the some time of the myocardial infarction? Which one is enzyme will be higher in our body? So let's start our topic cardiac biomarkers. In cardiac biomarkers. we can see there is a creatinine kinase creatinine kinase that is which one mb subunits types will be first giving to rise in the case of any damage to the heart so it is the first enzyme which is giving to rise in our blood if the any damage in our heart next one is cardiac troponin t is also going to rise during the heart damage next the cardiac troponin i is also going to increase in our blood if the heart is going to damaged the brain natriuretic peptides is also increase in our blood if the heart is going to be damaged there is a myoglobin if it is the least specific marker but it is also somehow in the cases if the severe mark a severe damaging of the heart will leads to the first biomarkers give to rise but it is the least one ischemic ischemia modified albumin it is also showing if the person is having ischemic modified albumin is seen in our blood the person is must be, may be suffer from the her cardiac uh, heart diseases so the ldh and ast ast that is aspartate amino transferase will be the least least as most for the cardiac biomarkers but they are also significantly but they are in the list what are the biomarkers is most important here creatinine kinase what happen we can see here if the person is having ckmb that is the most specific and ctn that is cardiotroponin t is the most specific for the person is having any damage in the heart what happen in the rise what enzyme is rises when the creatinine kinase will be raised in the 4 to 8 hours 4 to 8 hours of the initial stage of the damaging of the heart and 4 to 6 hours we can identify it in the blood serum that is the creatinine uh, sorry cardiac troponin t we can see this cardiac troponin t is the most specific test for the first 6 hours of the cardiac damage and next peak level of these enzymes will be appeared in our blood circulation will be the creatinine kinase will be the first 24 hours of the damage and 24 to 36 hours of the damage we can appear what which one enzyme that is the cardiac troponin t next normal after after how much time these enzymes will be going to normal stages so about the creatinine kinase they are going to normal about the 48 to 72 hours and they are also that is troponin t will be appear normal after the 3 to 10 days of the that uh, any damage of this cardiac enzymes so these all are the cardiac biomarkers they are important to learn about them and we have to no by heart about these markers because they are the very important what are the cardiac biomarkers do you know first priority will be given by the creatinine kinase then troponin t and in both of them then troponin uh, troponin t will be the most important next we are going to see about the brain natriuretic peptides and the flip pattern of the ldh how they are going to marked here if the person is having marker of the ventricular volume overload ventricular volume overload but not the myocardial infarction if the patient is having volume load it means inside the ventricles of the blood the load of the volume is increases means the volume volume of the blood inside the ventricles will be increased it will leads to the what is the increase in our blood when the volume of blood it means the ventricles is filled with the blood all the times it means overload of the ventricles how we can understand the overload of ventricles of the heart so for which we can see in our blood there is a, if the patient is normal normal patient is having we are checking this uh, ventricular overload by the ldh1 of the heart is indicating 30% and ldh2 is indicating rbc in the 35% of the cases if the ldh2 is more than the ldh1 then the normal patient will be appeared and the patient is having myocardial infarction the ldh1 is higher than the ldh2 so in the myocardial patient which ldh1 is uh, 
एल डी एच वन और एल डी एच टू इज हायर एल डी एच वन इज हायर इन द माओकार्डल पेशेंट सो नाउ यू आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द लीवर बायो मार्कर्स वॉट हैपन इफ द पेशेंट इज हैविंग एनी डैमेज इन द लीवर सो वी कैन सी द इंजाइम्स हुज एलिवेशन इन द सीरम द इंजाइम्स हुज एलिवेशन इन आवर सीरम ऑफ द ब्लड इज रिफ्लेक्टिंग द डैमेज ऑफ हिपैटोसाइड सेल्स और द पैरेंट काइमा ऑफ द लीवर द स्पेशल टिश्यूज ऑफ द लीवर सेल्स इज गोइंग टू डैमेज हेयर so what is is indicating amino transferase enzyme is indicating if the any damage in the liver so which one is amino transferase either alanine amino transferase or aspartate amino transferase these are the two enzymes which is responsible for the which is responsible for the appearance after the damage of parenchyma of the liver aspartate or amino alanine amino transferase most specific one if the patient is having liver parenchyma damage is the alanine amino transferases so you have to know about it next we are going to say if the enzyme whose elevation is seen in the serum reflecting the cholestasis that is flow of bile is very very slow then which biomarkers is increase uh, indicating here that is either alp alpha alp1 all i told you valerian canaliculi and the five prime nucleotides that is the most specific for the cholestatic representation and the gamma glutamyl transpeptidase these are also indicating here for the enzyme elevation if the patient is having canaliculi biliary canaliculi biliary canaliculi will be happened or the cholestasis digit will be appeared with these indications or with the five prime nucleotides enzyme is indicating if the person is having markers of alcoholism they drinking too much or the acute alcohol abuse or the alcohol liver disorder if the patient have any alcohol liver disorders will be also indicating through the five prime nucleotides or the alpha 1 lph or the gamma glutamyl transpeptidase these are the indicators which are indicating the liver biomarkers now we are also going to see the some liver disorders the some liver disorders by the viral infections suppose that the viral hepatitis infection is appeared in our liver and the some alcoholic liver disease how we are going to differentiate them so if the patient is having aspartate amino transferases or alanine amino transferases ratio will be less than 1 it will be indicating the person is having viral hepatitis if the aspartate amino transferase and alanine amino transferase ratio will be greater than 2 it will be indicating alcoholic liver disorder or the disease it's so simple if the ratio will be somehow lesser than 1 it will be indicating viral hepatitis greater than 2 it will be indicating alcohol liver disorder next we are going to see that is gamma glutamyl transpeptidase is is easily inducible by the alcohol so this enzyme will be seen if the patient any patient is suffer from the alcohol liver disorder so it is the patient is having fatty liver disorder or the fatty liver disease so in this type of patient which type of enzyme is increased in his serum it's so simple gamma glutamyl transpeptidase so these are the important next we are going to see also biomarkers of pancreas what happened in the if any damage in the pancreas prostate bone or bone or in the kidney we can see in the pancreas or the patient is having pancreatitis they suffer from what is the most specific in this case there is a myelage and lipases are appeared in our blood serum and lipases is the more specific than the myelase so in the lipases amount will be increased in our blood serum which is the disease that is the pancreatitis next one we can see prostate cancer if the any patient is having prostate cancer what enzyme will be enzymatic activity will be repaired and we can see appeared in our blood so there is a tartrate liable acid phosphatase will be appeared in our blood serum and we can see prostate specific antigen that is the serin proteases will be also appeared in our serum so these are the indicating prostate cancer next we can see about the bone disease if the bone formation disease will be appear in our body that is the indicating by the alkaline phosphatase all i told you that is the pre beta lp and the osteum serum osteocalcin is also indicating and the type 1 procollagen type 1 procollagen is also indicating about the bone formation disorder what about the bone resorption disorder there is a urine and serum test will be done for the n telopeptidase we can see c telopeptidases these are also done there is a link reactions will be happened and the urine total free deoxyperidine will be done 
so these are the sequence of the bone disorders now the any markers of the acute kidney injuries if the person is having any kidney injuries then what are the markers for them the first important one is the kidney injury molecule they are also indicating the first one second one is the neutrophil gelatin associated lipokalin they are also indicating there is a clustrin is also important there is a cystatin c these all are the important later on we can also discuss alanine amino peptidase these are also indicating the kidney acute kidney damage Al alkaline phosphatase we can also see glutathione ace transferase gamma glutathione ace transferase beta 2 microglobulin alpha 1 macroglobulin and retinol binding proteins macroglobulin osteopontine liver fatty acid dishes acid binding proteins serum hydrogen exchange isoforms or exosomal futin these all are the markers of the acute kidney injury the person is having somehow the damage of kidneys appear in his body it's so simple so you have to most of most of them the we have to learn about them where the cue is marked here clustering cystocin that is the cystatin c and the ngal neutrophil gelatin associated lipocalin so this is all about the biomarkers we discuss everything about the enzymology section but the we can say like this there is a clinical manifestation of these disorders how we are going to identify this disease how the disease is going to identify these specific enzymes these enzymes are going to appear in our serum or the bloods and we are going to identify these disorders very easily and they are indicating types of these enzymes in the different locations of our body and we can find the disorder so it's uh, end about the enzymology and the clinical manifestation of this enzymology thank you see you in next biochemistry section thank you bye bye